Hello and welcome to my ethical fashion YouTube channel. If you're new here, I upload every Sunday and today we are talking about Shein. So Shein is a notorious fast fashion brand you may have heard of by now and has rapidly evolved into a multifaceted monster. It's literally like when you cut off one head, 10 more pop off. It has grown so much in such a short time in such a ruthless manner that it's rivaling brands like Amazon and Timu. As Shein expands its empire, it's raising really pressing questions about sustainability and ethics in the fashion industry. So if you're not super familiar with Shein, it is the home of a lot of miscellaneous cheap stuff that honestly we don't need. In March actually, Shein went as far as offering its own supply chain infrastructure, which they're calling their marketplace, to a lot of other small fast fashion brands. Now you may think, oh wow, that's so generous, that's so kind, but it is quite the opposite. Instead, giving small fast fashion brands exposure to their infrastructure means that Shein will be further able to collect data, it will further expand their capabilities, and also further understand consumer preferences across the globe by allowing these small brands to tap into their network of factories that are based all across the world and focused on small batch production and on-demand manufacturing models. And if you're not familiar, Shein relies on the small batch manufacturing model to really position themselves as the core of the fashion ecosystem so if you kind of think about it it's like Shein is trying to become the son of smaller planets and if you're the sun essentially that means they're in charge of the long-term sustainability of the other planets it ensures that they are in charge of the nature of the flow and it positions them essentially at the center where they have the most power and the control and this means increased ways of making money increased insight and it leverages them to grow much faster by being tapped in to a lot of other brands and their system now they have already been growing so fast even before before opening up their marketplace. It was reported that they've been generating over $30 billion in revenue in 2023. And again, they work with so many factories, 5,000 plus, are known but honestly i wouldn't be surprised if there's more behind the numbers and they routinely create thousands of new styles and orders and they're delivered within days it was even reported that 5,000 metric tons of goods are shipped via air freight daily which is kind of mind-boggling to wrap my head around and the data they will collect by opening up their marketplace will only further allow them to grow these ventures it would only allow them to grow their market demand it will allow them to provide more popular items and will let them learn which items to discontinue and so their small batch on-demand model has only become better and better because of their data collections where they're minimizing storage costs faster than ever before where they're better able to manage their inventory waste and further increase the ability to offer extremely low prices such as $10 dresses and $5 shirts. Shein's moves are very strategic. They're very much paved to dominate the industry and I would want to see consider it an aggressive expansion strategy. And for context, their new marketplace will launch in the US, Mexico, and Brazil. And in Brazil, Shein has already invested about 150 million dollars in partnerships with over 2,000 garment factories, allowing an increase in local fast fashion offerings than ever before. We also need to take account that Shein already has a very sneaky and extensive brand portfolio. If you don't know, Shein has multiple different brands called differently to their big Shein brand. So they also have Shiglam operating under them, Glow Mode, and these are all part of their company already. So imagine with the addition of the marketplace, how many more baby fast fashion brands they'll have popping up out of their marketplace. Xing Lu, an associate professor of fashion and apparel studies at the University of Delaware, suggests that the brands tapping into Xi'an's supply chain infrastructure will only be able to grow more beyond their current resource constraints and also further their sales growth. In other words, fast fashion brands that have been struggling in the past will be further able to prosper and to create cheap fast fashion brands with more ease than any time before.
for. And so this comes with a lot of environmental and ethical consideration. The brand heavily relies on polyester making up nearly two thirds of its garments and contributes to lower production costs. And yes, it contributes to lower production costs, but it does cause a huge environmental impact. Polyester production is linked to significant carbon emissions and microfiber pollution that infiltrates not only our water, but seafood. And based on report in 2022, Shein's carbon emissions have only steadily increased. And this has also been coupled with reports of worker abuse, use of banned cotton, and chemical and microfiber pollution, all further marking its honestly ruthless reputation. Again, I don't think this would be possible without their intense strategies that rely on 250 plus in-house designers that are constantly copying designs from other brands and just simply creating duplicates from cheap materials. And Shein is very familiar with accusations of copyright and trademark. It's not a secret anymore. Hopefully there can be change where sustainability and these ethical considerations can really make brands more accountable. If we look at Shein, we can actually start to figure out how much of a horrible and ruthless track fast fashion really is on in the name of progress. So I highly encourage we start questioning whether we let these brands prioritize prices and styles over sustainability and ethical considerations. And yes, like honestly, Shein's low prices and trendy pieces can be very attractive and tempting to a large customer base across the globe struggling to survive but despite this, we really need to understand and delve into the environmental and ethical shortcomings that are prevalent amongst these mega and small fast fashion brands. And so next steps, as Shein continues to dominate the fashion industry, it just highlights the need for greater transparency, ethical production standards, and sustainable practices in the fashion industry. Only Shein's investors and executives will reap the benefits of our destruction. I really don't know about you, but we need to have more awareness and advocacy for change in the fashion industry where we address these critical issues and work towards a more sustainable and ethical fashion future. So if you want to be part of my sustainable fashion community, I highly recommend you subscribe to my YouTube channel and to put on your post notifications. And you're also more than welcome to support me on my Patreon. And let me know what you thought about this video. It is essentially the peak of the iceberg. Um, and there's so much more to talk about with Shia and there's always so many issues. So let me know what your thoughts are, what you want me to delve into with Shein. Until the next video, peace and love. Oh.